New York City, baby. Also, they have a new terminal. Hello, guys. It was snowstorming in New York. It was so bad. The landing was really rough. I'm having really bad ocean sickness right now. I'm currently trying. I'm trying really hard not to throw up. hotel this is a fantastic hotel after we leave we'll put the hotel information down below it's located in chinatown it looks amazing like amazing 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 i definitely love the decor i love the ceiling i it's spacious like for a new york hotel this is spacious so highly recommend and this is the first day i'm getting my vlog gear on and we're gonna explore the place we're gonna get some boba tea i watched so many episodes of fun brothers and we're gonna try out a lot of the fun brothers recommended places to see if it's actually chinese approved as you can tell i'm actually chinese chinese i'm from china i live there i grew up there so we're gonna see if it actually go i'll take it with me oh. let's go hey guys i don't know if the camera can capture it but it's snowing again, y'all. This is potentially not great for my vlog because I don't want my camera to get wet. But look, the snowflakes, it's just like, it's not very heavy snow, but like you can see the building is the snow. See, it's slowly building up right here. Oh guys, this is feeling like hometown again. Well, every year it snows in my hometown. So now, well, it's snowing pretty heavily right now and the wind is blowing hard so we may eat something close I think there's a place called like Joe's dim sum or something or Joe's Shanghai we can eat Shanghainese uh, soup dumplings but first I am dying for like a hot drink for sure and potentially a hat Whew. Okay, this is Xi'an's famous food. That's Foam Brothers Place. It says Western Chinese cuisine. Okay. But guys, look at this. This is like Chinese New Year. It's snowing hard. This is a one of a time experience. Not only we experience New York City, we're also experiencing snow. You have to help me to get the snow out of my clothes or else my clothes will get wet when, they, when the snow melts. Everywhere it says Chinese, a lot of these places don't even have English to it. Oh, uh, roast duck, barbecue pork. So one of the cultural beliefs is that on the Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year, if it snows, it means it's gonna be a very prosperous year it's gonna be a year of prosperity so it's not a lunar new year today but it snows we can pretend it is i'm actually by a hat guys because i'm actually really really cold well this place is kind of interesting over here there you go. <laughs> going to a chinese souvenir shop <laughs> this one that one is for babies this one is for babies i want this one okay oh. does it look good yeah or should i buy a different color i like the yellow one myself but this one? Yeah. Okay, let's buy this one then. Okay, do we need scarf? Maybe get a scarf. 
Or maybe it's just okay. I'll try to tough it out. If it if I can, then let's get a scarf. But I love this. Okay. Okay. Pay for it. Here's the little Italy guys. Welcome, little Italy, right next to Chinatown. Wow. Look at this. We'll see you at Boba. My hands are freezing right now. So we'll vlog when we're there. All right, guys. So this is where the phone runner said, like, it's one of the best boba places, right, in Chinatown, New York. So we came all the way here to try this out. Hopefully, it doesn't disappoint. It's called the Tiger Sugar, and let's go in, shall we? Okay, let's see. Uh, golden woolong cheese. Regular. Wait, I don't want extra lunch. All right, first thing, something cool. They're using recyclable straws. Tea is really good. I can taste a lot of oolong tea. It's actually really good. They brew the tea and then they make the drink. This one is a brown sugar boba and taro pudding and cream mousse. Let's try this one. It's super sweet, but the brown sugar boba is really good. It's just super sweet. Since this one's a specialty drink, you cannot adjust the sugar level versus mine. Since this is like a normal drink, you can actually make it less sugar. So this one is zero sugar. All right, guys, we got our boba. What do you think? I think it tastes great. It's very sweet, had great flavor. On a scale 1 to 10? 8.5. 8.5, do you think it's worth it to chase a Foam Brothers boba tea recommendation list? Yeah, because they know. They know what's good. This tastes great. So yeah, I think it's really, really good too. My tea is very, very tea flavored. It's like a very good brewed oolong tea. And his is actually a really good flavor. It's just too sweet for me. And I think the bobas taste good here. Yeah, the, They're like melting your mouth. The boba is great texture here and it's brown sugar boba. So highly recommend Tiger Sugar scored. All right, now we're gonna go find a place to eat. We're gonna go Chinese food today. So let's go. All right, guys, we're gonna go try out this new spicy village i saw this in foam bros youtube channel and i chased the link i listed it and then we found it today so we're gonna try this out to see if it actually tastes good but in foam bros video they look amazing and i love spicy food so are you ready yeah. let's go oh it's oh it's cold the menu also i heard someone is fighting in the back or just yelling at each other okay but they're speaking chinese which is a good sign okay so we have appetizers oh, they have the noodle thing too if you want the hui mei the hand pulled white noodles too they also have the hand pulled dry hand pulled noodles they have like way more options than kung fu chef special and soup they also have rou jia mo, which Brandon likes to eat because Foam Bros ate it. They also have the soup dumplings. Let's try the soup dumplings. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna like be like very authentic because soup dumplings is more like a Shanghai dish. I was gonna go to a Shanghai place today, but then we found this place, so I might as well just try. It. That's like a noodle thing. Right. And it's just so quiet here. There's nobody here, which is also weird. It's actually different from what I thought it would be because I don't think they have a lot of options here. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna order like one or two dish, like something light, and to see if it's good. If it's good, maybe like we can order more if we're still hungry. But the prices are really good. These are like ten dollar dishes, which in New York it's pretty cheap. I would say like because most of the places are like 15 20 dollar dishes but these are like 10 dollar noodles so it's definitely like a great deal what do you think 
I think the prices here are amazing. It depends on how it tastes. If it doesn't taste good, it doesn't taste Yeah, good. definitely. Another thing about this place, like if you plan to come here, I don't know if it's temporary or permanent, is it has a sign that says cash only, right? So make sure you have cash. Like since last time I came here, I noticed that some places they're like cash only, like there's like a very high minimum for paying with credit cards. So I this time like we bought we brought cash. Alright guys, these are the oxtail, the dried noodle ones, the hui fen, but it actually looks pretty good. The serving size is not too big, this is definitely not Texas size, but I believe this is definitely enough for one person, right? It's definitely enough for two people. Well, it depends on how hungry you are. So let's dig in, take a look. Ooh, these are the dry noodles, the dry stir-fry noodles with the sauce, and these are the oxtail. It has cartilage here, it looks pretty good. And I hope there's enough oxtail. How many chunks do you think there are? Like eight, eight to ten. Eight to ten chunks. It's pretty good and also it gives you a, a lot of vegetables. Mm -hmm. And it's also the white noodles that I like, which I think is also really good. So... Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Let's dig in. The noodles are actually really good. It has great texture. It's not too spicy. I would say this is like a mild spicy. The oxo is cooked very nicely. It's very soft and tender. I would say this is actually a pretty good noodle dish. All right, this is what the oxo looks like. It's cut very, very thin. They're kind of small tails to be honest, but they're also very tender and it has really good flavor. You know, sometimes the oxtail, if you don't cook it enough, if you cook it wrong, the texture could be like a little bit too chewy, but this one is really good. I really like the oxtail. What do you think? It's not very spicy. Yeah, this is definitely not very spicy. What do you think of this dish? Flavor is pretty good, but I, I, I could definitely use more like Spice. I'm gonna try out these soup dumplings. How do you like the noodles? I think the noodles are nice, they're chewy, but like I said, it doesn't have enough flavor. It needs more flavor, more spice. Yeah, it's mild spicy. It's definitely not spicy village, it's like mild. But I do really like the oxtail, and I do think the flavor is really good. And the noodle texture is very professional. I would say these noodles have better texture than Kung Fu noodle in San Antonio. You can tell like this is done by like a local person from that area, but they probably made it not so spicy. So, you know, it's more accessible for others, but definitely I prefer it to be more spicy. Let's go 1 to 10. How would you rate it? 7. 7 out of 10. And it's a, like a really good authentic noodle dish, but it's nothing like too special. This... My son is super hot. Don't burn yourself. Yeah, this soup dumplings are super, super hot. Alright guys, now let's try the soup dumplings. Mmm! It has soup in there. Oh, cool stuff. It's super hot, super hot. You see, can you guys see the soup? It's right here. I think it tastes pretty good. It's pretty authentic soup dumplings. There's real soup in there. I think the soup dumplings are pretty good. Although... It's just too hot. The, <coughs> I think the wraps could be a little bit thinner. It's because you didn't do it right. It's fine. Put my official way. First, you put the dumpling in a spoon. Dump some vinegar. No, you bite. Take a bite first and dump the. No, I dump the vinegar in the bottom. That's how I do it. Then you bite the top to let the steam out. There we go. Let's see what's the soup inside. And then you eat and the dump, it. The, the vinegar is already in it. Yeah, these are good. These are good, right? Mm -hmm. They're actually, I would say the wraps could be a little bit thinner. Right, the, wraps could be thinner, but overall. The Ding Tai wraps are thinner, but the flavor is right. And the soup flavor is also right. right the flavor is there. Yeah. I would say it's really good for the price, because like. There you go, you bite the top. This, there's some soup in there. If you have like Ding Tai Fon, it's like super expensive. Dump in some vinegar. Yeah, there we go. There is the soup. There we go. Steam come out. On a scale of 1 to 10. 8.5. 8.5. 
So today, since we're not too hungry, we tried two dishes. The first one is the hui fen or hui mian. Um, this one is like the stir fried noodles with oxtail. Oh, um, Brandon, give it a seven. I think I would give it a seven out of ten too. I think I, I think I like it. I think it's a really good value, but it's not like something that I would fly <laughs> over the country, fly across the country to eat. But like, it's definitely really good. Um, comfort food very authentic and the soup dumpling i would also agree i would think this is 8.5 it's not like the best soup dumplings i've ever had but it's definitely like authentic soup dumplings the soup filling is there the flavor is there the wrap is a little bit thicker but i think the price is really good for new york so and it tastes better than the trader joe's yeah it tastes better than the trader joe's for sure so I would say I would recommend this place like it's really good for like before you go on the plane after, or you, when you just got off the plane it's not like something that you would look forward to like oh my gosh I'm gonna try this amazing place but like something that like if you're tired or if you want a quick meal this these will fill you up and it's like pretty good meal and for the really good price as well also with the noodles I think there's quite a bit of cumin in there I think the aftertaste is actually pretty spicy like now that we finished the whole thing I actually felt like it's a little bit spicier than I initially thought and a lot of flavors are at the bottom so I feel like they give you more sauce it's gonna be more flavorful overall, overall Henan spicy is different from Sichuan spicy and actually one of my best friends in college he's actually from Henan so it's a little it's like Henan spicy it's not like real 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 spicy but like it's kind of like a little bit soy sauce a little bit cumin a little bit pepper a little bit like different spices and the chili pepper so the chili pepper is not overwhelmingly spicy compared to Hunan and Sichuan so Hunan Sichuan and Henan are like totally different flavor palettes so if you're used to one of the palette, like one of the flavors, you may not use, be used to this because like it's totally different regions of China, different um, types of cuisine in China as well. So but overall, I think it tasted pretty good. It tastes really good like as a comfort food, like street food and lunch. This is kind of like a kind of a small, like not a big variety of like restaurants. So make sure you bring cash for now at least. I forgot to bring some stuff. So first day in the new New York we just check out some food places tomorrow I'm thinking about like going to Central Park I don't know tomorrow is gonna be another cold day but it, there's no not gonna be any snow yeah it's really 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 windy here so I hope the audio is okay I think we're gonna go back to hotel and I'll see you guys tomorrow make sure you give this video a like and also subscribe ring the notification bells this is a vlog series more vlogs and restaurant reviews is coming so I'm super excited and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!